Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make all of these modded outfits. So yeah, I hope you enjoy them. And of course, if you do, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like down below. Also, it'd be awesome if you subscribe, but that's completely up to you. I'm not going to force you. But yeah, thank you for the support recently. It's been absolutely crazy. So yeah, thank you for that. But anyway, we're keeping this intro nice and short. So shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting. Hashtag TJRH on my last video. Before we begin, if you would like any of these services, feel free to check the link in the description and use code TJRH for 5% off your order. And without any further to do, let's get into the video. So to begin with the glitch, you want to come to any clothing store on the map, it doesn't matter which one though. Then you want to make sure you put the required amount of money inside of your bank. And once you have, all you need to do is make sure you equip the outfit you would like to save as by doing a glitch, all your outfits, your saved outfits, will be deleted. But after you've done so, if you want to, you can delete them all yourself. Or by doing a glitch, they just get deleted either way. And then after this, open up your pause menu and you want to go down to swap character. And once you load into this menu, uh, you want to make sure your main character is in the first slot and it needs to be a male. Or else this will not work for you. And then after you do so, you want to make sure you make a new female character in the right slot. And then accept this alert. When you load into the editing menu, uh, just make sure it's a female. Then you want to hit save and continue, name it anything. Take the picture and you should load into a public session. You will have to go through this little cutscene, but it's only small. Once you load in, make sure you enable passive mode so no can mess you up whilst you are doing a glitch, so open up your interaction menu, enable passive mode, then you want to open up your pause menu, uh, look on your map to see if you have any clothing stores, if you do, just go to one, if you do not, find a new session and they will appear. Then once inside of a clothing store, you want to head over to the accessories menu, over at the back of the store, so over at the back right of the store. So go onto this menu, you want to remove any accessories on your outfit, so most of these standard outfits do come with earrings, and you want to make sure you take those off, so remove your earrings if you have them, and anything else you see, uh, take it off too. But yeah, I'm going to skip to when I made the outfits just to make it easier, and I'll go over them all from there. But don't worry, I'll go in depth and show you everything. So for the first outfit we have the checkerboard outfit, and this consists of two different outfits on the female character. So these two here. So for the first one you want to head over to gloves first, over on the accessories menu. So onto gloves, you want to equip the light woodland armoured gloves, so these ones here. And after you do equip those, head over to shoes. So onto this menu, then you want to go on high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat boots. So equip those, and then you want to head over to pants. And on pants, go onto jeans, so the first option. You want to go and equip the black cropped jeans, so down at the bottom here. Once you do so, back out, you want to go on tops just behind you. Then go down to sports tops and purchase a grey racer back. So it should be this one here. I believe it is number 50. So equip this and you want to head over to the front counter and save this outfit in slot number 2. So start in slot number 2 and name this checkered one. So just name these all the same as I do and make sure you do them in the same order. Anyway though, for the second half, you want to keep everything the same, however you want to head on to tops. Then you want to go down to sports jackets. And then on this, you want to equip the sea green puffer jacket, so number 99. This one here. And after you do so, go down to bustiers. And on bustiers, equip the teal lace bustier. So it should be this one. And after you've done so, all you need to do is back out and you want to go to the front counter. And save this in slot number 3. Then name this checkered 2. And that's it for the checkered outfit, so uh, moving on to the next one we have the red Tron outfit. This also consists of two different outfits on the female, so for the first one you want to head over to gloves. Go on to the accessories menu. On gloves, equip the white surgical gloves. So these ones here, white surgical gloves. And after you do so, head over to the pants menu. And over here on pants, go down to utility pants. You want to purchase the black battle pants, so these ones here. 
then back out head over to tops. Now on the tops menu, go into tank tops, you want to purchase number 61, the mocha torn short crop. So this one here, after you do so, you want to go to the front counter and save this in slot number 4. And name this Tron 1, so the exact same as I do. And for the second Tron outfit, all you need to do is head over to gloves. Then on gloves, I put the light woodland armoured. So these ones here, light woodland armoured. After you do so, head over to shoes. Then on shoes, gone boots, and you want to purchase the moss tech boots. So there should be these ones. After you do so, head over to the pants menu. And then on pants, go down to sports pants, and I'll the first one, so the spotted muscle pants. These ones here. After you do this, go on to the tops just behind you. You want to go down to work jackets and purchase a peach camo closed field. So this one here, number 9. And then after you do this, go down to uh, tucked t-shirts. You want to purchase a blue digital t-shirt, which should be number 75. Yeah, so number 75, after you do so, go to the front counter, save this in slot number 5 and name it Tron 2. So that's both the Tron outfits done. Now I'm moving on to the blue uh, invisible torso outfit. This one consists of three different outfits on the female, so uh, these three here. For the first one, uh, it's quite expensive. You want to go down to scuba suits and purchase a bold red scuba. So this one here. After you do so, head over to gloves on the accessories menu. Then on gloves, so make sure you purchase a light woodland armoured. And that's it for this one, so you want to go save it at the front counter. And save this in slot number 6, then name it blue one. And that's it for the blue one, so on to the second blue outfit. This one you want to head over to shoes first. Then on shoes, go on to high heel boots and you want to find the deluxe midnight combat boots. Then head over to the pants menu. This time on pants, you want to go on sports pants and equip the first one, so the spotted muscle pants. Now you want to go on to tops just behind you. Then go down to bikinis and purchase a black bikini number 27. Then after you have done this, you want to go uh, back out and go up to tactical jackets. Clip the last one, the khaki tactical blouse on, number 79. And after you've done so, go to the front counter, save this in slot number 7. And name this blue too. And then for the final blue outfit, you want to go on to tops. Then go down to work jackets, purchase a peach camo closed field. Then you want to go down to tuck t-shirts and equip the blue digital t-shirt number 75. So this one here, number 75, and after you do so, go and save this at the front counter. You want to save this in slot number 8 and name it blue 3. And that's it for the blue outfits, so uh, moving on to the final one, this consists of two different outfits on the female, and it is the CEO vest outfit. So for the first one, you want to head over to uh, pants, and on this, you want to go down to utility pants, and purchase a black battle pants, so these ones here, then back out, go on to tops just behind you. You want to go on to bikinis, and purchase a black bikini, so it should be number seven, uh, 27. After you do this, go up to biker jackets and purchase the fitted leather jacket. So this one here, I believe it is number 40. Then after you do so, uh, this is important, you want to head over to accessories.
and on accessories, going to earrings, I'm purchasing a BMW Deco earrings. So these ones here. And after you do so, uh, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to inventory body armor. Uh, make sure you have the heavy armor on, otherwise you cannot get the CEO vest on your outfit, so uh, make sure you have this heavy armor on. Then go to the front counter, save this to slot number 9, and name it armor 1. So that's the first one done, on to the second one, you want to head over to shoes. And on shoes, go on to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat boots. So these here, and then you want to head over to pants. And then on the pants menu, you go on to sports pants and equip the first ones, the spotted muscle pants. Then after you have done so, go on to tops just behind you. And you want to go down to sports jackets and buy the sea green puffer jacket, number 99 I believe. Yeah, this one here, after you do so, go down to bust ears. And purchase the white lace bustier. So the white lace bustier. And after you've done so, open up your interaction menu, go to inventory body armor. And make sure you show the heavy armor, or else you cannot get the CEO vest, so make sure you do show the heavy armor. Then you want to go save this at the front counter, and save this in slot number 10, name it armor 2. And that is it for all the outfits, and I'll go over them slowly, so just make sure yours are the same as mine. And from here, take the easy way out using your interaction menu, and this forces the game to save. And when you spawn out on foot, open up your pause menu, and go down to Startup Creator. And then in this menu, create a new race, and you want to make a new land race. And when you do, fill in the details, so the title, description and photo, uh, they do not matter, they can be absolutely anything. However, what does matter, you want to set the maximum players to 3, and set a route type to point to point. But after you do so, if you want to make the process a little bit quicker, uh, you can choose any F1 car or supercar, and it will do it a little bit quicker. But after you do so, uh, warp to the airport. And then over here, place a trigger anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then place a, a, take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. And then you just need to place a checkpoint, so place it until, I believe it's at least 0.65 miles or something like that. Uh, basically there's a red caution icon at the bottom right, as soon as that goes away, uh, it'll let you test the race. So yeah, just place it until it goes away, and then you can test the race. And then after you do, you'll have this alert, so accept the alert. And you want to open up your pause menu, go to online, choose character. And inside of this menu, just delete your female character. And after you've done so, you just want to press B or square for PlayStation to return to story mode. And then when you do, just start up a new online invite only session. Now when you load into online, you'll notice you have your outfit like you chose to keep earlier at the beginning. So all you need to do is go to the front counter you want to save this outfit in the last slot, so out of the way of all the other outfits. So save it in slot number 20, and you'll notice all the other outfits have transferred over. Uh, but ac to actually get them, we do need to do uh, another step in the job called Crooked Cop. But yeah, for the checkerboard outfit, all you need to do is you want to go up to Biker Suits, and purchase a black biker suit. This is for the gloves, by the way. If you don't want these gloves, just equip any gloves that you want on the checkerboard outfit. And then for the next bit, we will need an earpiece, so make sure you have an earpiece. If you do not have one, you can purchase one from any ammunition store. 
Uh, but make sure you have one. You don't want to have it equipped just yet though, so uh, remove it from your outfit. And then from here, you need to open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, you want to go into versus and start up Crooked Cop. And when you load in, set a clothing to player owned and invite anyone and start this up. And in this menu, you go down to owned outfit, scroll two to the right and then ready up and you'll have this outfit. Now when you load in, open up your interaction menu and equip your earpiece. So make sure you equip your earpiece. And after you do so, go to the clothing store in the mission so you spawn closer uh, when you quit the mission. And then over here, you want to make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then quit the job through using your phone. Now when you load in, go back into the clothing store. Inside of here, you can either remove your earpiece or keep it on, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. And then go and save your outfit at the front counter. By the way, when you save this outfit, make sure you save it at the bottom, so to slot number 19, out of the way of the others. But after you have saved it, you need to make sure you delete the outfit you use to make this one, so delete checkered 1 and 2. Now for the Tron outfit, all you need to do is you want to back out, go up to Deadline Outfits. And you want to equip the red Deadline outfit and that is uh, what's going to merge the top on. So equip this one here, the red one. Now you can equip any colour you want, however, uh, the red will match the shoes and the gloves. So yeah, just equip this, then all you need to do is start up Crooked Cop, so open up your pause menu, go to Jobs, Play Jobs, Rockstar Created versus, and start up Crooked Cop. And inside of the menu, set a clothing to Player Owned, then invite anyone and start this up. Now when you load in, scroll 2 to the right on Owned Outfit, and you'll notice you have this outfit here, so ready up. Now when you load in, open up your interaction menu and equip your earpiece using your interaction menu. Then that is it, so you want to go down to the clothing store in the mission to spawn closer uh, when you quit. So down here, make sure your earpiece is still equipped, then quit the job through using your phone. Now when you load in, go back into the clothing store. You can either remove your earpiece or keep it on, it doesn't matter. Then go and save the outfit on the front counter. Ah, make sure you save this at the bottom of course, to number, slot number 18. Then delete Tron 1 and 2, so the ones you use to make this. Now for the next outfit, so the blue one, you want to go down to uh, Biker Suits. Now a couple of blue Biker Suits, so the one at, bot at the bottom. So this one's full of gloves and uh, it'll let you have the fully invisible torso, so make sure you equip this. Then after you do so, start up Crooked Cop. Side of here, set a clothing to player owned, then invite anyone and start this up. Then go on to owned outfit, scroll 3 to the right this time, and you'll notice you have this outfit, so ready up. Now, when you load in, equip your earpiece using your interaction menu. 
then go to the clothing store in the mission. And over here, uh, just quit the job through using your phone. Then when you load in, go back into a clothing store. Inside of here, either keep your earpiece on or remove it, it doesn't matter. And then go save your outfit out of the front counter. Save this at the bottom, so to slot number 17. And then delete the outfit you used to make this, so blue, one, two, and three. Delete all of those. And now we have the final outfit to do, so the armor outfit. You will need the CEO vest outfit for this, so I'll show you how to get it now. So to get this, make sure you come over to this clothing store, uh, just here on the map. Then open up your interaction menu, go down to hide options. You want to go into jobs and set it to custom. So you'll notice a blue job appears outside the clothing store. You also want to make sure your uh, spawn location is set to last location. And from here, go outside, you want to register as a CEO. Once you are a CEO, go into CEO management, go into style. You want to switch over to the El Jefe outfit, so the one with the CEO vest. And then go into the blue circle and press right D-pad. When you load in, just start it up. And in the first menu, click confirm and continue. But in the second menu, wait a few seconds and then quit. When you load in, go back into the clothing store, go on any of the menus, and wait until you get kicked off of the menu. Once you are kicked off the menu, all you need to do is retire from your CEO. You'll notice you still have your outfit on, so head over to accessories. Now on this menu, go down to gloves, and equip whatever gloves you want on the outfit, so I'm going for the black woolen gloves. But it is up to you. Also, if you want to add a black desert scarf, you can do that, however, you can't equip it just from here. Uh, you will have to use your interaction menu and equip it from there. Uh, but this is optional, you don't have to have this. But once you do do this, you want to just start up Crooked, crooked Cop. Inside of here, set a clothing to a player owned. Then invite anyone and start this up. Now go down to owned outfit and scroll two to the right and you'll have this outfit here. Now just ready up. When you load in, equip your earpiece. Then go to the clothing store in the mission. And then over here, quit the job through using your phone. Now, uh, once you spawn in, go back into any clothing store. Inside of here, you can either remove your earpiece or keep it on, doesn't matter and then go and save your outfit. And that's it done, so that's all the outfits done. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like down below. Of course, that's completely up to you though. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, that's insane. Comment Suburban down below if you did make it this far. 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have an awesome day or night. Don't forget, if you want to, customise these. You can add helmets or whatever. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day or night. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.